Hey friends, how's it going? Corey Swadley here, reporting from my shop, You Frame It in Madison, Wisconsin. It's a really fun project. I'm gonna be building some shadow boxes. Thought I'd bring you in, kind of show you the process. The shadow boxes are gonna be the forever home for something really special to me. It is going to be for the new album by The Mascot Theory, Every Sign of Life. It's a part of our Kickstarter campaign. Those that contributed on, at a certain level get a uh, shadow boxed autographed version of the album. So it's really cool. I'm going to have you uh, jump along with me, have some fun, walk through the process, and uh, you can see me make some shadow boxes, all right? All right, so starting off, what we need is we've got to grab ourselves some materials, okay? This is where we store all of our in stock materials. What we're working with today is our items that are in bin 58. Yeah, buddy, bin 58. So we're going to get these suckers out, get them ready to go. And we get these big 18 foot length bundles that come all wrapped up like this. So we go through, we gotta get all this wrapping off and get these pieces of material ready to take over to the saws. All right, so we got our materials out, we got them unwrapped, all organized over here. Now we're gonna move to the step where we gotta get these saws turned on. We're gonna chop these butters down. We take these nice long 10 foot lengths, maybe nine foot lengths. We're gonna work them through here. We're gonna get a good chop at the end. Set our measuring stop at 31 inches. Make sure it's all the way down to the perfect little 16th. We're gonna get all of our chops done at that length and then we're gonna move towards working on our 16 inch lengths. We always leave a 1 8 inch allowance. So we wanna get down to exactly that correct measurement. Make sure we've got that 8th inch allowance. If we don't, then we're gonna cut it down just a little bit more and make sure it's spot on. So when we get that glass in there, we've got a little bit of wiggle room. Just burned through about 63 feet of material. We've got a few bundles left here that we're gonna work through, get all of our 16 inch lengths cut up. We're gonna move on to the router, oh yeah. Chup, 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 chup. All right, now we're at the stage where we need to put a nice router groove in the end of all of our cut lengths. Beyond gluing everything together, we also get a nice plastic peg in there. It helps with stability of the frame, but also if the rare occasion that it uh, takes a tumble, falls off a wall. That plastic peg acts as a security hanger so everything inside doesn't just fall out. We're going to go through, we're going to use this router here. We're going to router all of our materials. All right, so what we've got now is a nice, clean router groove and all of our pieces of length. Moldings all chopped up and ready to go. And now we're gonna get all of our vices set up. Get all these lengths, get them jointed in all these vices. We're gonna go through and we gotta marker the ends. A little step we like to do just to make sure that it all looks finished. We do our best to get them joined together super tight. There's always a chance there could be just a little bit of a gap. So the color that you want to show through, you don't want it to be super light like this. You don't want that gesso white in there. You want it to be nice and dark and black. So it's a shadow box. We've got an angle here on the lip. Nice, pretty standard frame, but got a nice depth to it. So that when we put that down and get that piece of glass on there, there's a nice space in there for that uh, album or whatever other items you might need to uh, shadow box. Sometimes you do a lot of jerseys and stuff like that. All right, so next what we're working on is we gotta get these lengths joined together and these vices, get some glue on there so we can get a good bond. So here's how we assemble these shadow boxes. Gotta get one length in there, nice and tight. I like to work without having the glue on there to start, just to make sure that I can get these positioned properly so that once I get some glue in there and the clock is ticking, I'm not having to rush too much. So we're gonna get these just about in the right spot. And then we're gonna douse them with some glue, make sure to get a good solid joint in there. And then we're gonna work our way down this way. All right, so we got our first round of frames all in the vices. Once that clock uh, hits zero, then we're gonna move on, get all these flipped, get the second corner joined. And we're working with uh, natural wood like this. There's always little imperfections, little things that we gotta 
keep an eye out for when we're trying to join things perfectly. There's also just little variables that are left with saw blades because they don't always cut exactly perfect. So we use little paper shims, get them in the corners here to really tighten the outside corner together. Then we use pressure to bring them inside together, make them sit nice and tight, but there's no gaps in there. Stage one is complete for these bad boys. We've got the glue is all set, the timer is complete. So we're gonna get these out of the vices, we're gonna move them on to the next stage, which is get some putty in these corners so they look joined nice and tight. We're gonna get the pegs glued in place so they got this extra level of security. And then they're gonna move on to the next phase, which will be uh, working on actually mounting the vinyl and the sleeves onto some backing board in a secure way so that those pieces can then be sized glass will be cut and everything will be assembled into the shadow boxes and we'll be able to close them up. So now we're to the part of the process where we're going to prep the arts to be uh, sealed forever in the shadow box, okay? What we got here is we got the album. What we're going to work with is a piece of mat board. This album sleeve first is going to get mounted down. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. We've conveniently marked this board as to where each record is going to be mounted. So we've placed these buggers down. We've so nicely painted the screws that are gonna mount it so it looks nice and professional. Thank you, Heather. What this will do is allow the album and its sleeve to be able to be hung vertically on a wall. And this will then get mounted onto a piece of foam core so it has a nice firm backing. Put some nuts on those screws to make sure they hold in place. Every sign of life forever mounted on your wall as a piece of musical art. We've got a whole team of people here at Uframe that get involved in a project like this. We're all on board. We're all making sure that everything is handled exactly the same for each piece. I just wanted to introduce my wonderful wife, Melissa. She's gonna come in on this part of the project because she is the specialist at the, the prep stage of the art. So we can make sure something like this can last forever up on a wall because it does have uh, a lot of weight that's gonna be pulling on that. So she is the specialist at making sure this Will last forever. So she's gonna show you how to put all these pieces together. Are you ready? Yeah, let's get to work. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. All right. All right, so here we are. We're at the final stage of this project. So as you've seen, built the frames, we puttied and pegged them all. We've mounted this wonderful album to be displayed in these beautiful shadow boxes. This next step is the final stage. We're gonna be cutting the glass to make sure it fits perfectly, get it nice and clean. We build up some shims along the insides. One, change that color to a nice dark black, but also that lifts the item up off of the glass so it creates that shadow box effect. And then, once that's all complete, then we seal it all in, paper it off, then we add some uh, mounting hardware and a wire so you can hang it on the wall, give it one last final cleaning, and these buddies are gonna be all complete. All right, friends, well, today is the day. You know, one of the really fun parts of doing these types of projects is when we get to reveal the uh, newly framed art to the client. And uh, with this one being an extra special project for me, because, you know, I'm in the mascot theory and I'm a part of this band, this album is like, uh, you know, a really special moment for me in my musical uh, life. And uh, my brother from another mother, Eric, is here to pick everything up and I can't wait to show him uh, the work that we've done. So, hey, come along and we'll go say hi to Eric, okay? All right. Just got the word that our framed album covers for the Kickstarter campaign are finished at Uframe It, so I'm gonna hop inside and pick them up. Let's go check them out. Kellen from the Mascot Theory has arrived and you frame it. You ready for this? I can't wait to do this. Pretty exciting. This is the fun part of the job is the big reveal. So without further ado, I give you the Shadow Box Every Sign of Five. That is so cool. Double album. Orange marble. In a shadow box with the autographed sleeve. On behalf of the team here, we appreciate you uh, using you frame it and uh, on behalf of the Mascot Theory, thank you to all that participated in this uh, Kickstarter campaign for us. Yes. 
uh, a dream come true, to be honest with you. This is my my first piece of vinyl that I. Uh, we're on there. We, we, we are in. in we are in the groove, man. Literally, we are in the groove. So, anyway, Thank on behalf you. of you, frame it and mascot theory. Well done. Woohoo! Every sign of life. Get it at a store near you.